Hey guys, uh, project today was starting to clean up this truck throttle body. Um, just in case you don't recognize the process that's going on right now, we are melting off carbon and burnt up motor oil using everyone's favorite dollar store oven cleaner. Normally I only use Easy Off oven cleaner because it's stronger and it works faster. For some reason, my Dollar General was out of it, so next best thing is to get their DG version. Um, I've got it just about ready to rinse off. I just wanted you guys to take a look at it. Um, I did a little bit of initial measuring because these are advertised are supposed to be a 75 millimeter throttle body. It's not even that big. If it, at best. And I will measure it again now that I've got all this carbon and burnt oil uh, off of this thing. Last night, the best I could get was a little over 74 millimeters. I mean, you're not going to make you're not going to make a world beater throttle body out of a 74.5 or 74.4 millimeter throttle body, but you can clean it up, get a little bit smoother. Um, I don't want to say I almost want to call it a venturi effect. But you can clean up the bell, is what it's actually referred to, which is the entry into the throttle blade itself to have like a almost like a velocity stack effect uh, to smooth the flow and to speed up your throttle response. The biggest thing, if you're ever going to mess with one of these, the part of it that the actual throttle blade seals to to create idle, you can never touch. You cannot alter that diameter or you'll create a throttle body that doesn't allow your engine to idle and it'll have all kinds of problems. So. Alright guys, I got at least the first three layers of carbon and junk off this throttle body. For some reason they have both that oil consumption concern where it tries to pull oil from the valve cover up through the throttle body itself. Plus, a lot of the LS engines experience, for some unknown reason, almost like a reversion. I want to call it like an oil reversion issue where oil will build up and burn through heat exchange on the back side of your throttle box. So, um, if you'll look inside this one, I didn't get it all off of the inside uh, area of that throttle bore. But see that black gunk? Literally, the whole back side of that throttle blade, everything back there, gets caked with a burnt-on layer that eventually will interfere with the operation of your throttle blade, resulting in all kinds of hard start issues, uh, what they call it, where the idle won't come back down after you accelerate purely for a mechanical interference. Now that I have this thing cleaned up enough to know I'm getting an accurate measurement, we find out that the actual size of these truck throttle bodies isn't even 75 millimeter. Like you can read all you want online about these, I think these were used, I wanna say 99 to 2002, either 2002 or 2003 this style cable style throttle body was used and forever people wanted to say they were 75 millimeter which you know okay that's great everybody accepts that and moves on but when you start trying to modify parts to try to improve the, improve the airflow you want to measure things and figure out where you're at to begin with and see how much improvement you could potentially make in it by making the bore slightly larger problem is unless you enlarge the bore and the throttle blade you're only going to moderately improve the flow you know when I say moderately I'm saying anywhere from 5 to 10 horsepower at the rear wheels you know so if you don't spend a whole ton of money on it, that's not a bad trade-off plus the modifications you can do to this throttle body will improve your throttle response which if you're in a racer uh, was called a timed acceleration test that's going to be to your advantage so 
basically I just want to throw out a few numbers while I was measuring this this morning the actual throttle bore diameter is only 74.59 millimeters I uh, measured it wrote everything down so I didn't get confused <clears throat> so keep in mind they're advertised at 75 millimeter so you would hope to be a little closer than that but it's not horrible but basically what I'm gonna do once I get this 100% cleaned up with no carbon no oil or anything on it I will mark my what we're gonna refer to as the no-go area the area of your throttle body bore where your throttle blade seals to create your idle and your you know return to idle your idle characteristics your uh, deceleration I mean a lot of different things are relied on that seal between the throttle blade and the throttle bore so I will mark where it seals. consider that the no-go no-touch area while modifying and improving this throttle body so hold up real quick guys what we're gonna do is try to remove the throttle plate from the actual throttle body because that's the only way to accurately be able to do any work to it I believe this is a T15 Torx we'll uh, take these throttle blade screws out I broke, them. I broke them loose last night so I'm not cheating I just got prepared for today's festivities and remember you have to put Loctite on these screws when you put them back in there is no gambling with an engine by not running the Loctite you have to use it now here's the fun part opening this up and hoping that you can get it to slide depending on how how gummed up it is sometimes it can be fun all right got it moved a little bit see if you guys can see that dark line it's always fun and try not to cut yourself this thing can be a little bit sharp that's part of the fun i guess boom that it actually has little stop dimples there's little dimples that'll stop it in there but I will show you how to properly uh, reinstall it and get it centered in the bore before you tighten your screws okay here's an example of the throttle body after you get it disassembled and cleaned up fully I wanted to put it out here where I could use the Sun as a reflector the only thing you could really do to these things is right where I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the right reflection right where you enter the throttle bore of your throttle body there is a lump or a ridge now I've heard all kinds of different people try to explain the engineering behind this little lump but really all it does is funnel down smaller than the opening of the actual throttle body and throttle blade so we're going to remove that and make a smooth transition into that throttle bore I mean, right there you can kind of see that ridge there's a shadow it highlights that ridge I'm going to remove that and blend it smoothly all the way out to the bell or the venture or the we'll call it the velocity area then on the back side for some reason the only thing I can see that GM did is if you can see there's a ridge where past the uh, actual because the diameter of your throttle body bore is what your throttle blade can seal to and just in the last like quarter inch of that throttle bore they re they opened it up a few millimeter a millimeter or whatever that is i'm not a metric expert but for some reason just as it exits the throttle throttle body bore they've made it slightly larger that's kind of interesting so probably not going to do a whole lot of work on the back side of it 
because you're not really going to gain anything by making a, a reverse funnel effect. So hang tight. One area that I haven't seen anybody mention, but would be an excellent opportunity to gain a little bit of airflow or CFM or velocity is the actual shaft that your oh, throttle blade it attaches to and pivots in, you could do what they call slabbing. Let me get this held open for you. You could slab that shaft and reduce its profile when the throttle blade is 100% open which would be a viable option to add a little bit of flow to this setup. So I haven't tried that maneuver. I might see, you know, about hitting it a little bit, but I don't want to spend too much time on it because the proper way to do it would be to remove it from the throttle body. And I'm not, I'm not down with that life. So <laughs> hold on. Here's a little bit of a progress update working that crazy ridge out of that bell or velocity area on the front of the throttle body it takes a lot of patience a lot of tool control and tool discipline so you don't move back and touch that no go that no touch area but i've got it pretty close right now um right now i've just got to stop because it's thanksgiving I gotta get ready to go over to the family event. So I better go get all this grinding and porting dust and crap washed off and get ready to roll. So, but I just wanted you guys to see kind of the process of cleaning that bell and that ridge completely out and, you know, making a smooth transition into that throttle bore Cause that's really all you can do to these things you're not i mean it's not like you're going to turn this into some big high dollar 92 or 102 millimeter throttle body but there is throttle response to be had and a little bit more flow and that's kind of where we're at just trying to make a little bit more power with the parts we have um, i will do a final video on this when i get it done but I wanted to post up something so you guys might have something to watch while you're hanging out at the Thanksgiving festivities. You guys, hopefully you guys are safe. Have fun. Thanks for watching.